recording. All right, folks, we are back with Still some working. Genie Tron. Mm -hmm. I'm doing some more Still play testing here. for the Louisville Open. Uh, I do have two guests here. I have Andrew oh, Wolfice and Blake Orby. They're both my teammates on Team Swish. So, I, this is the last version we had. I've actually been changing it a little bit. I tried out the World Breaker. Just not impressed with it right now. So I'm going to be removing that. And I actually saw Numot play a version of this deck where he actually cut down the Ulamog to a one of, and then put two Ballistas in the, the main. Like so that. I'm going to try that tonight, I think. Um, other than that, are you guys seeing anything that you guys feel I should be trying out? What did we cut for the cards? For the cards? I had you three. Cut an O Stone, you cut mm -hmm. a one. Worm Coil, a Ballista, mm -hmm. and um, uh, one Relic. And the World Breaker. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I, they basically just sit over here now. So, like, the Ballista is here, the Worm Coil is here, and then. The O stones here, and then the relics here. So these four cards basically were in the main, and they basically have moved to the side, so I can fetch them up now. Mm -hmm. um, so they've been doing pretty well. Um, Numot did run a Graft Digger's Cage, which I'm not running. I'm playing the relic instead. And then I believe he also had some Thrive Tusk and Surgicals. So he had a smaller wish board, which is something that we've talked about as well. Whether or not we want to shrink the wish board in order to allow for um, just more real, more reasonable cyborg mm -hmm. cards and then just pick up the cards that we really want to hit. Uh, I have been pretty happy with the, the cyborg, honestly. You like the Thought Knots over uh, like a Thrag Tusk? Yeah, people, uh, I know that Noah's really big on the uh, Thrag Tusk right now over the Thought Knots. Um, I'm more than happy if you want to make that swap and try that out. I just, I. I'm just no. making observations. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, th I think the Thrag Tusk is better because you just need it for more matchups. The only matchup that you really need Thrag Tusk in is Burn. Uh, and really aggressive matchups right. where your light total is really taxed. But in that instance, you can use Nature's Claim as a pseudo Thrag Tusk to yeah. gain a little bit of life. The other times that Thrag Tusk is relevant, though, is like against like Shadow. Because sure. having a 5-3 is relevant like, compared to a 4-4. Four, four. Sure. And, and the 4-4, four, four, when it dies, it mm -hmm. gives your opponent a little upside. Exactly. Or Thrag there. Tusk is strictly upside on your part. Correct. Correct. So that's that's one reason. Um, we could trim it a bit and go to like cut one Thought Knot and cut something else and throw in two Thrags. Um, um. It, if we were to cut something, it'd probably have to be a Ballista. I like Worm Coil a lot on the side. Same with the O Stone. Yeah, but the, Ballista in a lot of matchups, you just it just I know. ends the game it right does. when it enters play. So yeah, I think I'm good with this version. Okay, we'll try it out. I'm gonna rename this 3.3. Should have made a copy before I made those adjustments, but that's fine. I I know what this was previously. Um, other than that, I think we should sure good to run a league. I did run this a couple times over um, this last weekend and this last week, just playing more of it. Um, I went 4-1 twice. I went one. F I went 2-3 this morning, but I conceded to my opponent because, you know, I wasn't going to get anything out of it. So I figured that's just, you know, if he gets money, I'd rather help the players. <laughs> so... What is Magic Stream? Do they have Pro Tour or something? Or, huh? or Grand Prix? Uh, oh, there's an open right now. Yeah. No, the Grand, the Magic Stream. It's 10,000. Uh, I don't know. It's probably some big event. Oh, that's probably the one that Numat's in right now, isn't it? I don't know. I don't, I don't, there is some big Magic event going on. I wouldn't be surprised we don't have too many viewers tonight, but there's a big SEG event going on and a big uh, Magic event going on. But for all of you guys that are coming, check us out. Appreciate you. Alrighty. Look, you guys want that to be a bigger screen or anything? Got it. I can see everything. Okay. We're um, like this. this hand is pretty awful. Um, so we're going to go ahead and ship this. Reasonable. This hand's not bad. We'll keep it. Reasonable. Put that on top. That's reasonable. Sure about that one. <laughs> he just turned I mean, I'm keeping it. <laughs> uh, I hear good things about that card. <laughs> Look at top five. Added Ulamog ceases hunger in your hand. That's a Sullivan's Grind. 
Uh, nobody put to the top. I put a stirring sauce on top. Yeah. Mm. Either way, it's not Toronto four. So yeah, what we'll do it's here is we'll play uh, Tron piece, Tron piece, and see if we can just luck sack our way into a, a mine. Um, and if that happens, it happens. If not, we'll someone's crying and then get it. And are we on the player of the drive, Miss? Oh, uh, we're probably on the. Yep, we're on the draw. Beautiful. So we're basically starting with seven. <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. Okay. <laughs> oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, that's fine. It's reasonable. So we're going against uh, Valakut. And we got the car liberated. Yeah, but it's not coming out turn four. And they have a search start, so if they have another ramp spell here, they could just blow us out. It would seem to be really good right there. Okay, so we gotta really, you gotta really practice your draw step on this next one, do we? <laughs> really need to miracle your way into this. <laughs> miracle! Let's just hope that they're not on the breach version, because if they're on the breach version, we just lose. If they have the breach here. Yeah, that would be really unfortunate. Ooh. What? what? Ooh! <laughs> Oh, what no. is this? Everybody's on the great creator? <laughs> my robots. <laughs> Can't play them anymore. It's oh strictly unplayable. What do you grab? A damping spirit? <laughs> oh my. That's rude. This guy is straight savage. <laughs> That's just rude. Okay. I think, um, we I think we still go on the Sylvan Scrying to find the... Well, we drew the blast zone for the damping sphere. Yeah. So we're still just getting Tron on board, right? Yeah, I think we just Sylvan Scrying and We're trying to. Okay, so like, sequencing-wise, we go land Sylvan Scrying, go get mine next turn, play blast zone, tick up, and then the following turn, blow it up. Um, Which seems reasonable. I feel like we're better off just running out blast zone now. Mm -hmm. And then ticking up and then blowing it up. Kind of hope again we just kind of fall into yeah because this doesn't slow us down so like it's the same amount of turns because mm -hmm. the turn we have to take off to blow it up we would just be um taking up here anyway that's fair the problem is he's going to six mana most likely and he's gonna get a simple uh, like those so most likely he's getting a lattice which means we're out of the game that would be unfortunate Card's dirty I hear good things about the Great Creator. Oh, that is a lattice. And that is six mana. That is lattice mana. Oh, oh, that's a prime time. What? I still think we lose here. <laughs> I understand, but why wouldn't they just play the lattice to win? Uh, I don't know. It seems like a really... No respect. Yeah, it seems like they're not respecting the fact that you can just, you know... Does this change anything? Yes, yeah, so you can take card. That doesn't change anything. He still gets killed with Prime Time. Yeah, uh, he's just gonna swing us. Okay, I'm trying attack. to be positive, guys. You guys are really. And he's gonna him. play a mountain and kill our card. Like we take. We still this. gotta take the Prime Time. But we they're just gonna. This. They play Lattice and we still lose. But I still feel like they should have played last last turn. Well, yeah. Well, it's, now do they have a mountain? We don't need a mountain. We'll, we'll kill Karn. No, it doesn't matter. We can't do anything with Karn. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually just dead. All right, let's get our artifact removal stuff out. Give me those nature's claims. All right, so I want to bring in the thoughts. I want to bring in the claims. I'm taking out the relics. I'm going to take out the ballistas. And I think Maybe we're taking out... Yeah, the Ugans. Is there anything else that uh, of the wish pieces that seem usually not like the only other card I usually bring in if I Trinisphere seems in. pretty good. Yeah, but I rather just fetch it up. Sure. Mm. And I don't think we can keep the sand. Uh, it's close, but no, I don't think so. It's fine. Uh, actually, uh, no. no, no, you can't keep that at all. Sand suspect. Keep this. Yeah, let's keep it all. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly what we needed. 
We're good at this game. We miracle harder than our opponent. We sure do. Just gotta get that, that feeling in your head like, ah, miracle! Damn! Damn! The Ulamog in the game is kind of disappointing, but. Right. That's the only thing. Like, maybe we could have played the star and hoped it. Our third piece off of the stirrings, and our map could have got the yellow tower. Was it Ulamog, maybe? Mm. So, like, I, I mean, it's risky. I'd rather have the guaranteed yeah. uh, Tron, and then after you have the guaranteed Tron, you can uh, stirrings to get another threat. We might not. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wow. That was really rude. That was so rude. Wow. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> oh, I like that. Ooh, I like See, that. See, my play would work. Miracle. <laughs> like I said, like we just miracle better than our opponent. Oh, now, that would have been really unfortunate if they natural <laughs> natural stated the uh, the star. That would have been really unfortunate. Oh, so thought not see here it is. <laughs> Got it. Two shifts and a bolt? That's unfortunate. Can we just take the bolt? Yeah. Yeah. Can't take him off shift. This but his really hand's stuck. not that great. No, it's not. This guy got a four mana. Like, you you only need one shift. Oh, he did sack. Okay. He's gonna go for the block sack. Sure. Yeah, that's fair. And you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna miracle the tower off the top. Boom we'll on these lanes. Mm -hmm. I mean, he like super one. rude. Well, he was super rude to us last game. You know, it's, it's his turn to. Now we're just professionally draw the tower. Oh, that's pretty good Dewey, too. Dewey, not a professional. Sorry, I'm not. You, dude, we gotta work on your miracle skills. Oh no, no, wait, hold yeah, on, hold on. Yeah, just take this green source. Why don't we attack first? Have him sack. Well, no, because he already knows we have the card. Yeah, but if he misplays and doesn't get a forest, he would. I feel like, yeah. They're just going to concede. Well, that's pretty good, too. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, their hand is two scape shifts. That's yeah, it. It's pretty reasonable. They concede out of that. But yeah, what do you guys think about the setup? It's pretty sweet. Pretty good, right? Yeah. We're going to update the... Did you uh, change your home since last time I was in here? Uh, did I have a couch last time you were here? Yeah. Because the couch was here, and I shifted everything to the right. Yeah. And that way I could Oh, my God. God. And so good. I don't think we can keep this one, guys. <laughs> That's pretty loose. <laughs> I'm going to overrule you on that one, I'll be honest. <laughs> two, see, for those two towers, it'd be fine. Yeah. Uh, two power plants? Oh, my God. <laughs> so we just need to find a new bug. Uh, either of the cards are all the great. Yeah. Turn great creator, you can show them on the game pretty fast. I mean, thought not's gonna be great too. So uh, he's got a really fast. That's nah, fine. That ancient strikes actually. It's all gonna hinge. That on ancient strikes was not a good draw though. It's all gonna hinge on one card in our screen. That really worm coil not. though, if we get that, if we lay in the worm coil, we get one attack through. I think we play thought not before we play worm coil. Yeah, we have to play thought not here. We're up to five, so they have six man next turn. I take the shift. We got it. And then we play Old Stone. Thought I'm Old Stone. Seems good. Seems reasonable. It's we just good. need that to have one payoff here, not two. We have two payoffs, we're kind of screwed. That was a yep. lightning bolt and a scape shift. Mm. Powerful magic. It's a miss. Your tron lands are a huge misplay, though. They're not Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the uh, the promo ones? The promo ones that are only on yeah, they look on good. here. They look good. Actually, they look good. Yeah, if they're in foil. Foil is like total garbage. Yeah, they do. And hurting for a green source. Yeah. If we just rip one star, though, we're in really good shape. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. That's a green source. Okay, let's see how they react to this, because they can crack that 
and then bolts are dot knot or worm coil. Or worm coil so. I think we just check first. Oh, I should have shot to it. Mistake. Yep. They go for thought not. They want that draw. still just kill us if they have the escape shift. We can 36 us. They need one more land, but yeah. 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 Just a forest, right? No, I was just thinking about, because they have six sources in play, and most decks only play 13. They're running out of sources. Which means if we grab a ghost quarter and they play a mountain, they have to sack all, everything. But uh, that's probably just me thinking too much. I think it's reasonable, but at the same time, we have these two ancient strings that are good in our hand. Oh man, which one do you want? A star or a sphere? <laughs> star? Who is big star? I know we can play the other ancient strings, though. Aim dropper. Mm hmm. Children's not bad either. We just play the sphere. I think we take. I think we take the sphere because no. we can fetch up the ghost quarter. Yeah, I and know. We'll get another draw off of it. Yeah. Okay. It's not like we can play the ghost quarter this turn anyway. Right. Same thing. Can trip that back. Beautiful. Too bad you weren't one draw earlier. Is right. that a tech edge? No. no. Oh, Alright, let's see if we lose. That seems really good. Oh, okay. No, we're not dead. That's a, that's, what did you say? That's a good draw, right? It's a good, good draw. Yeah. Only issue is that if they have a... Yeah. Uh, uh, that is yeah, but they can still kill Karn if we let us them. Not if we do this first. Well, that's... Nah, we don't have enough mana. Well, no, we're just gonna, we're just gonna Karn for a Ballista and shoot them for one. See, that's just that's just two reasons. That's just yeah. That's just <laughs> they're gonna pop nothing first. They have nothing. Great. Oh, we're in good shape. This is why we keep the molesters. <laughs> I can't believe they carned us though, for real. <laughs> I did not know that Escape Shift was playing Karn now. Maybe I should be on that. <laughs> <laughs> A combination of your two favorite decks? Oh my gosh. Uh, if I could, like, prime time into Tron pieces and then just Emrakul them, like, that's a thing, right? We can do that one of these days. That's the dream. I'm in on that. Model greens, like prime time. Can we splash blue for Nessa Stewart to the elements? No, we have chromatic stars. We're set. Oh, we're good shit. <laughs> <laughs> we're good shit. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, like, totally can I sell reasonable. you on Nessa Stewart to the elements? Alright, so we're playing this deck next, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Do you have your place in Nessa Stewart to the elements on here, right? I have managed. Modern staple. I have managed. You can do whatever he wants. Well, the modern staple, I'm assuming he has them. No. I actually only own Trana on <laughs> Mono anymore. So unreasonable. 
I do have to solidify into a version of the stack for Louis Bell. That seems really dead right there. What do you mean? They're on like dredge and we have relic or something. I see, actually, I see. If it was a dredge, still don't keep full. But still. <laughs> no, Sam's not doing anything. We're tripping this. Well, let's think about it for a second. No. Nope. I mean, you can think about it. That, this hand's even worse. Well, this hand's God. even worse. Our original hand was looking pretty good, wasn't it? Now it is. See, this is basically the original <laughs> hand. Oh, my three cards less. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awful. <laughs> Or goblin guy. We'll draw a Tron piece. Don't oh worry. my goodness. He didn't. He misplayed. He didn't play Goblin guy. Okay, we drew the opposite of a Tron piece. I don't even know if we should have showed them in a minute. I feel like we may just wanted to scoop here. We like needed to draw a Tron piece there yeah, to be relevant. Specifically. And then another Tron piece after that one. No, no, the two, the two are fine. I'm not greedy. I just need a I am. <laughs> oh, it's free one red. Oh no. Blood moon, baby. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, He's grabbing a liquid metal. I don't know what that card does. It turns a card into an is. artifact till end of turn. And he upticks card and kills our lands. I just need to know what he's fetching up, and I'm conceding because this game's over. Because we can't activate our relic on the earth map anymore. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that's pretty good. We saw a strike, do we? We were about. We're actually dead. He's blowing up a land every turn. No, no, no. We're not no. actually dead. No. He's, he's going to get, like, uh, Trinosphere or something. We're in good shape. That's still really bad <laughs> for us. That's a source of cycle. We're in great shape. He's just going to need card. What's big <laughs> No big deal. No big deal. Oh, oh, see? Look at this. Look at this. Trumpies. See? Trumpies. <laughs> look at that. Two of them. You have your pick. <laughs> this is bad. Think he's overreacting. What's up, Icy Devil? Thanks for joining, man. So Glad you got were able to us catch us live. <laughs> I'm with my two teammates tonight. <laughs> I still feel like they should have just grabbed a liquid metal. If they, they got would... liquid metal coating, we just literally <laughs> lost. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm surprised they didn't like tick. Maybe they don't have it. Well, it's it's kind a of a staple. Standard. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. A I don't staple. think anything's a staple at this point. Nothing's a staple. That's fair. So he's naming Karn. Yeah, Karn the Sure. Bird. Sure. Reasonable. Okay. Now we just need to, like. We just top deck a mine. Or a power plant. Well, yeah. Well, no, obviously. Now what Now what does he get? Pissy Needle? Name Expedition Deck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Icy Devil. Much appreciated, man. Oh, my God. Wow, look at this zombie. <laughs> oh, you got, you got those now? I'm trying to do uh, more and more things. I feel like our opponent should have had the free win when they powered out a Karn on turn two. That's Another Spyglass? What is going on? Oh, you got to change Boom. the I got to update that Stream for you. Give me one second. I see that. I'll update our list. So that forest was unfortunate, Blake. I don't know if you knew, noticed that. Yeah, it's <laughs> We're so in good shape. Because he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> just have no faith. He, go, he get liquid metal code and he just lock us up again? No. No. No, because he's got an uptick now. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to play the Sorcerer Spyglass again. <laughs> okay, he's making his thing a 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Do we... we are, I hate to break this to you, we might lose to a Sorcerer's Spyglass that's attacking. Alright, it is updated now for anybody that wants to check out the list. How do we see how many viewers we got? How many viewers we got, dude? We have five. We have five? Oh my gosh. Oh, they're on the top right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I was one of for quite a while. Yeah. Just boosting them numbers, baby. Netron, Netron. Uh, ooh, that's ooh, that could be really good. That could get rid of all of his uh, <laughs> all of his you know nothing. <laughs> yeah, all and he can kill Khan. All if we if we Nat draw the last piece as Louis Khan. does. Yeah, I mean, he's a Tron player. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's pretty. That one ends the game in a hurry. Yeah. I don't know if you know that's Andrew. That's pretty good. <laughs> Big fan of the Rabbles. I didn't know that Free Wind Red used Rattle Master. Yeah, it's one of their uh, 
it wins. Neck. It wins like extremely. Fast. I got. I got so excited. For yeah, a I know second. you did. <laughs> oh, this is not good. It's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna. We're still gonna just draw that. Nat draw here. We're gonna Ugin. We're gonna minus three. Yeah, the uh, my uh, my teammate's also on the one of all his dust. Uh, it's been pretty good for him, so I have been considering throwing that in there, especially since we dropped from three of uh, the four O stones down to the three. So that might be something we should uh, we can try out on the next deck. Chip flooding in, he could go for some platters, but he's got the land in hand. And if that's the case, we just lose. Well, we, to be fair, we should have lost like five turns. Nonsense, out. nonsense. We're in good shape up until now. No! <laughs> <laughs> what did the other spyglass name? Osto. Oh, that's fair. Even though... Or he has a spell state. <laughs> Even though he has a Karn Liberated in play, he named Osto. No. He does not have a Karn Liberated. I mean a Karn Great Creator. He so does I have that card. If we draw the... Tra Tra well, that's no, we just drawn all spells. Okay, now we're just dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, if we would have drawn it, we would have been able to uh, Ugin X three, uh, neg three, and then we're live, we're actually live in the game at that point. Yeah. All right, so we got to take out the relics. We got to bring in the all the claims. Uh, Ugin's um, actually pretty bad in this matchup, isn't it? No. So, like, Ugin still takes care of the Blood Moon. Still takes care of the Rabble Masters. Sure. And the other goblin generator. I would not play walking ballista though. Ballista's also relevant though. With blood moon on the board. You can take out the thing. Both card and play. I'm fine with trimming one though, but I wouldn't cut all of them. And I think that's all we're doing. Need the do. natural states. Or nature's claims, whatever we're playing. So like I was bringing in thought knots for this deck, but like I was getting punished pretty hard because I would like be stuck with them in my hand because they blood wound me. Yeah. Seems really bad. Uh, uh, Tron's not playing basic waste. You know what? I've been kicking that around for some time. I That's saw. Really what was the? There was one that just. I mean, the only reason uh, you want it would be thought not seer. I know. There was an Eldrazi Tron list that just won. That was running. Well, of course, Eldrazi Tron would. No, I was running new Karn and all this good stuff. Yeah. Karn, you know, Reality Smashers. Well, I'll draw each one with Karn, yeah. Good stuff, I'm like, making me really sad. I'm like, I do not want this deck to come back. <laughs> it's not coming back. It's just not good enough right now. I can't beat a turn three or turn two at the, like, at the uh, Invitational we went to last time. Guy goes, he's on the play. He goes, um... Sands. Uh, and? Yeah, so, like, I don't like this hand. I actually think it's reasonable. I would keep it. But it has... It has a searching piece, and it has uh, two re Two redraws and a claim. Yeah, I think it's fine. It's not great, but... I think it's it's fine. I think it's better than... Like, if you take out Karn, the best card in the hand, it still is fine. I would probably want to shift to the pills. It, yeah. <laughs> well, no, no, what I'm saying, if you take... So it's fine on a six, Yeah. but it's like we still have... This way, with the Karn, we have a payoff still, too. Yeah. So we have effectively two Tron pieces, and we just need one of our uh, spheres or eggs to just show us another one. Or we're just going to be good with Chin that Miracle in, so. I mean, I have faith. Blake, do you have faith? <laughs> he's, I believe in Miracles. I do that's not believe he's in miracles. miracles. That's because he's a control player. <laughs> and I, I play robots. I've got a Miracle. You should see my time. sideboard right now. It's like... Oh no. 13 one of them, oh, like no, two like, rest of these. It was double simian spirit. Oh no. <laughs> Do they not even have a land? No, oh, they're, there is no land. How go. savage are they? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> yes! Ah, oh, we're so good at this game! game. <laughs> they didn't even have a land? They, what? Like I told you, we just miracle. <laughs> what? What? Hey man. You gotta risk for the biscuit sometimes. Uh, oh my! Okay. Oh, he got he got okay. Like, he's gonna be punished super hard in the next turn, though. Oh my god! Card go down. Oh, and I found Landry. Still, he's gonna be left with two one ones. Yeah. And blast zone. Oh, no one. one. Oh yeah, blast zone can't kill the tokens. Yeah. But we minus on card, take out the rabble master, and then we just go take up, out their up. take out their land. 
No, you can't. See, they're going to go two on the car. Not like on the land. If they hadn't found another land, I would almost say take out the land. Yeah, no, for sure. No, because they're, they're, like, at the very least, they're hitting Karn for one. Yeah. Oh, that's fair. If they blood moon us, that's fine. We got this nature's claim. We're dope. Oh, my goodness. We just got all the Tron cards. All the Tron lands. What do we get? What do we get? What are they giving us? What was that? Rowl Master. Okay. And a chalice. Oh, chalice one zero, baby. Hmm. Do we want to have the spirit to blow up for life? I think it's... I, I would crack it. Crack I mean, it. there's no... Oh, yeah. I would crack it and find something. Yeah, there's no point not to crack it, I feel like. Okay. That's unfortunate. Okay. I think we just play, just play Blast Zone. Yeah, it works. It's really unfortunate Blast Zone can't... Comes in with a counter on it, isn't it? Yeah, if it came in at zero, it'd be amazing. Might be a little too good. That's probably why it starts at one. I imagine they did some testing. Probably just like, that okay, we're done. Oh, see? They were like, oh my goodness. These guys are so good. They just natron me. He kept a zero land hand when Simi Spirit Guide, Simi Spirit Guide Ritual, to be fair, Rival Master. To be fair, Blake, you I would have kept that. I would have kept that. <laughs> yeah, I would have kept it too, but I'm just saying, that's savage. <laughs> Straight savage. Oh my god. He's, he's you're like, really bad at drawing good sevens, aren't you? Yeah. Look, you, when you play Tron, you don't get to keep sevens. <laughs> yeah, I, I noticed that whenever I watch you in top eight. <laughs> you just mulligan yourself into a Oh, oh my god. god. We have yet to see oh, a no. land. Oh no! Oh. Do we play lands in this deck, do we? Okay, we're in good shape! <laughs> we're in good shape! <laughs> like, we're not, though, because we're still relying on top of deck. No, no, no. We're, we're fine. We're fine. This is Dewey. I've seen him now. <laughs> I've seen him mulligan to three. Oh my god. What's he doing? Oh no. What's he doing? Blood Moon. Blood Moon. Basic. Yeah, yeah. Better, actually, better than Blood Moon right here. Yeah, that, sorry. Like, that's unfortunate right there. It's actually better than Blood Moon. Yeah, that's actually really important. I should put lands in this deck. <laughs> Noah's on 20 lands because he doesn't want to get mana screwed anymore. <laughs> Is he really? Yeah. He, he doesn't want to get mana screwed anymore. Oh. oh. Chalice on one. That's, that's fine. fine. We weren't going to be playing one draft anyway. I mean. We're, it's fine. We're about to get Snapcaster out of this game. <laughs> just two, fine. two, two. It's fine. So we just need to draw the last Tron piece. Which doesn't do anything. And two more lands. Yeah. And, okay, well, now we're, now it's a little unfortunate because they have a war boss, but, uh, we're still fine. This war boss? <laughs> oh, we can put dark steels in the side, we can go fetch it up. War, war, I like the way you think, I see devil. <laughs> war boss, uh, at the beginning of combat, makes a goblin, and, but that goblin has to attack, just like Rabble Master. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> you war boss. Play, do it. We're playing. Chalice check him, chalice check <laughs> this game's over. Well, no, no, we still can win this, though. Don't uh, be that way, dude. We can still win. No, we can't. <laughs> we get a ballista on... Oh, on we what? Need we need two more lands for that. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we, like, <laughs> it, it actually required us to hit land there in a row. Because that'd be too fast of a clock now. They saw the line. They attacked with everything. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> Mentor, no! So, they just make a 2-2 two -two every turn. Yeah. And we had oh it too. My oh my god! We had it too. <laughs> oh my god! Alright, that's good. Play stone, play stone, play stone! Why? They might not see the line. <laughs> 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 they might think we have some of our Check him, do it. You gotta check him. <sighs> Make sure he sees the line. <laughs> to attack us? Well, yeah. You never know. He doesn't know what we have. <laughs> Done with you. For the record, <laughs> even if he doesn't attack us, we don't technically do anything because he still has. Uh, we, we can't activate two lands. Yeah, we can't activate the O stone. It's all mine again. Gosh, this guy's so good. He's really good. <laughs> He's really good. I cannot believe it took us to the third mulligan down to three cards to see a land. I think we saw a forest in the first hand. No, 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 no. no, no. This, no this one, there was no land, no land, no land, no land. Was it? Yeah. I don't believe it. I think there was a forest. Three on one Tron Link. I'm pretty sure there was a forest in that seven. I don't think so. No, Should go really back on the recording and I'll see this. Check it, dude. I cannot. Okay. Check the tape. No, I have to, like, stop the recording to pull it up. That's right. It, I see really... devil understand. No! <laughs> <laughs> What's that doing? <laughs> oh... Yeah, so that is the other deck I do want to try out, though. That furry wind red deck. It seems reasonable. Huh? 
I, I think it's actually pretty sweet. It's just pretty good. It's, just, it's mono got red, red and crap. It's mono red gotcha cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what else could you want? Gotcha cards. Oh, oh my god. I get to play Chalice. I get to play two variants of Blood Moon. I get to play all the Rabble Masters. And I get to play Karn. This is not nearly as spicy as the primetime Nissus Screw the Elements Tron deck that we're talking about. You gotta put that together if you want me to play it. I'll play it. <laughs> no, if we're playing we'll it on stream. No, if we're playing it, I think we're playing Fairy Ninjas on stream. No. Gosh. No. Like, you know you want to. <laughs> no, because I'm doing this play before me. Oh, that's reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Fairy ninjas with bitter blossom. Hell you, yeah! And then you ninjutsu. Yeah. Oh, it also runs ornithopters and familiars. <laughs> I actually used to play this in modern. I top it in an IQ with this. Yeah, and you can top date with a ham sandwich in modern. <laughs> it's true. It's Words rules. of Hanabon. You, it's modern. You can play anything, and you can and you can top eight with it. They're as long all as you're good enough with it. They were all playing like uh, it was when. Uh, Birthing Pogs would play and all that. Mm. I don't know if he does, but he forgot to play. You can familiar with him again, Birthing Did we see the bad force of will they printed for modern? Is that a, something they just spoiled for Horizon? Uh, are they talking about foil? Did they did they spoil foil? Because I'm in on some foil. You're not wrong, hey, Pigeon. Pigeon, you're right. You're not you're wrong. wrong. Wizards always be hating on my muscle. Oh, here it is, it. here it is. Force of Negation. The hell? If it's not your turn, you may exile a blue card from here rather than pay its cost. Counter non-target creature spell. Uh, if that card was counter sway, exile it. So it's forceful for non-creature spells. Yep, you, know, you exile a blue card from your hand. Oh, but you don't lose life. Actually, that's not bad, Blake. Boom. Blue light miracles in modern. I can't believe we whip on a land there. <sighs> oh my goodness. Squirrels in modern are a thing, gentlemen. No, they're not. Me. There's a squirrel. Squirrels you it's five mana. It's not a thing. It's, it's fine. fine. Get out of here. It's, it's got Vanishing Three. We'll make it work. Vanishing Three, five mana in modern. But when it enters play, you get four squirrels. It's like no. It's the it's bad. It's bad hermit druid. Just get out of here. Why don't we just get hermit druid? And hermit druid would be just like kind of mediocre. All right, dude. I think we scoop it up here. <laughs> they don't know we're on yet. We could be like Stirring's map. They know what we're on. <laughs> Why'd you play the map for, Dewey? Because <laughs> we missed the land. <laughs> I, this is over, though. Um, Could have just forced stirrings if they would have thought hard and scales. It's not. I'm just saying, we're still in this game. Uh, they show a card. I'll even admit we're not in this game. Blake, you gotta have faith, my friend. God, that's a card. We're still in the game. Why are you kissing? <laughs> No, you're not in the We game. will never have a land on the field again. It's fine, we'll still win. Who <sighs> invited this guy? <laughs> we wouldn't see this pretty bad. Ballista seems pretty bad in this matchup, doesn't it? No, so like, my theory when it comes to um, playing the mirror is that any threat that I drop is a threat that they have to answer with Karn. Right, so if you're on the draw, and they and ballista can shoot the point walkers can too. shoot Karn, sure. um, warm coil I keep in for that same reason. Why are you I, keeping a or a Ugin in? Okay, what else am I taking? I, I'm bringing, he doesn't have enough to bring in. I, I, I'm bringing in six cards already. Nice. So yeah, that's that's usually my role when it comes to the sideboarding for the mirror is that I'm bringing in the cards that um, they have to answer, otherwise they lose their card. You know what we could use here? Another Karn. I could use like a chromatic star. No, you're wrong, Louis. This is us, we're right. Louis, we're the professionals here. You guys are the professionals. <laughs> at not this deck. <laughs> <laughs> He's absolutely right. I mean, it could have been worse, I guess. That's fine. <laughs> no, this could be bad. We, we have to like rip the Tron piece. Oh, they, yeah. No, they don't have it. They don't have it? They're no, professionals. They They're our opponents. They're definitely professionals. They don't, they don't get it. They don't get it. I, until I see it, they don't get it. Oh! I told they you don't they don't have it. They don't. It's in their hand, though. They totally have <laughs> it. They totally have it. We are so screwed. Okay, that's, that's unfortunate right there. Uh, we don't got it either. Play this figure. Let's dig, boys. Sure. Crack. Crack, crack, crack. Well, okay. Nice. Well, we still got Thought on the next turn. Mm. You know what he did? He didn't play Ballistic Missy Girl. 
It seems like a misplay. Yeah, a little Missed bit. opportunity. Yeah. There, okay, so he's cracking that on your unstep, so he actually does not have it. The the only thing he can, uh, he's looking he for might. He's, he's looking for it. No, he has it. And he's digging for a threat. That might be too. Okay, he doesn't have it. He does not have it. Well, he does now. If he doesn't have the land, that'll be crazy. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh, he has oh. a They're green red. Okay. Okay, Ooh. so we can Thought Pod Seer them. Mm, I think Thought Not Seer before Expo Man. Right? Yeah. Hopefully they're on a one one threat hand. We only have six cards. What's the yeah. what's the what, what's the likelihood here? Not good. That's not good. That's uh, actually fine. Actually fine. I we just take the crate liberty creator. Like we don't care about one coil engine. And walking ballista is fine. You say that. It's fine. You say we, we count we counter their ballista with our ballista. Because we're straight. I, I, their like, ballista's gonna be a four four. Our ballista's gonna be a two two. Way. Way. It's fine. It's fine. You aren't thinking of the possibilities here, guys. I'm feeling a little threatened here. Yeah, he's got nothing. So we need to rip the power plant. It's fine. Okay. It's not terrible. So that lets us... We get a 2-2 two -two ballista. What does that do for us, though? Like, that's what all we can do. I think we just... Player trying to use the cast off. You don't want to run out the ballista? No, because they have a ballista in their hand and they can just make a ballista that's, you know, just a little bit. And they better. have a second worm coil, too. Yeah, that's fine. It eats up their, uh, what they play, though. No, I think, I think I'd rather keep the ballista, like a defensive ballista. Mm, okay. What, what are we gaining for playing the ballista? Blocking the worm coil, shooting them. Uh, we don't care if we take six and then gain six, no big deal. They would just in all likelihood. They would just, they would just claim it anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's true. They do have a claim. And then on the next turn, we just strip them of their start stripping drawn pieces. So we got two towers. So that's not good for us. So they still have a mine in hand. Yeah. They have a mine. So a they have one unknown. Oh uh, yeah, a worm coil and a blessed in hand. They're gonna play a second worm coil. Turns out. No, nope. theirs is a little long. bit better than all. no ballista for five. Yeah. Shoot our thought not. No. Okay. okay. Um. I think we could fetch out a ghost quarter. I don't think we so. We just play Karn. No, we can we can fetch out a ghost quarter and play Karn as well. Pretty sure we just Karn and worm coil. That too. Because we are... No, we're one minute short, aren't we? No. Are we? Yeah, that's... No. Yeah. Yeah, we are. That's fine. Uh, I'm still going to Karn and take them off of Tron, I feel like. So you got to yeah. take their power from it? I agree with taking them off Tron. Because then we have another backup card. And we're... Like, so... Yeah. No, they have another mine in hand, do we? Oh, crap. That's why I said power plant. I'm bad. I understand. That's why I said something. It's just like map. And then with the map, we get a Sanctum of Ugin. Yeah, that's like really unfortunate, though. Because they shouldn't have Tron, and now they're going to have Tron. And they are not shooting Karn. Oh, well, they just wait till that turn. They can swing. I mean, they that. can swing first. Right? Yeah. So if they swing the Walking Ballista and the Worm Coil at us, we block the Walking Ballista with the Thought Not Seer. I mean, that just forces them to shoot now at the end of the turn. No, so, they, they can't no, shoot. No, they can't shoot the Karn if they want their thing to survive. I think they can just do it on upkeep, but it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Got 
That's not a chance. That's actually the mine that I forgot to click away, is it? No, because mine was the first. Search yeah, it was. Thing they played. Yeah. I gotta say though, those snow covered full art lands look this, great. They look fantastic. That's unfortunate right there. Yeah, I think an Ulamog here, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. Or actually just anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, right that's not terrible. Well they don't have the green part. Yeah, they don't have the green. If they have a sphere or a star, then Encounters. Okay. Did you do it? Are they a little confused by this? No, oh, they're just waiting till our upkeep in the shooting sure, card. Sure. Um, do we care about more mana or the sanctum? I think sanctum. Just because we know we can activate it. Uh. So we can't play around the world breaker in our hand. So we just gotta. Yeah, we take their green source. Uh, so if we take their green source, they're gonna kill us with blocking ballista. We just need to go sanctum of again. Hope we draw a artifact removal spell, and uh, so we can follow up. And what's our other options? Because we can't blast on it. You can ghost quarter. That gives them a guaranteed green. Yeah, but they only have five lands. Yeah. That's true. So I mean the upkeep or shoot the card, yeah. Thanks, Epic Dragonzord, for subscribing, man. I mean, I subscribe and following. Much appreciated. So, so let's start. Not bad. Star. I think we start off on star. See if we free roll into an artifact removal spell. 10, 12, 13. 11. So, 13, 14. Um, we will like have enough. We, if we go on the, start on the star, we'll have enough to go Worm Coil and Karn. Ooh, I only see we have 12. We, we have 12 right? in play. And we're going to play a 13. Well, yeah. well that's a Go to go to 12. Part, right? to, oh, we'll be at 12. No, yeah, we'll, we'll be at 12. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, we'll be able to do Walking Ballista and Worm Coil. We can go Ballista for six and hold up a quarter to take them off of Tron and then next turn and then still be able to block the worm coil. So oh, right, we can use our, our ballista to kill their ballista and block the worm coil, right? Essentially. Phoenix and then go score them off Tron. Mm -hmm. You gotta subscribe to me. Thanks for subscribing, Phoenix Cast. Coming back for the second month in a row. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Well, that's our only line I, here, isn't it? Our only line is that we, you need to have two cards that get rid of. Uh, Wait, because don't they just? No, no, the world breaker will get rid of our. Artifact Wait, don't blood. they kill? They just kill our bliss with their blissa. No, we let it resolve. Huh? So we, so our bliss will be at six. Their bliss is on four. Yeah. If we minus a counter to shoot it, they have to do it in response. So every time they're doing it, we're letting it resolve. So then, at the very least, ours will be left at one, right? Oh, okay. This is why we don't play Tron, Blake. I agree. Because, <laughs> like, once once the damage is there... Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. They're shooting us. Smart. Yeah, because they can still kill us with the world breaker. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. So we just so upkeep, we just upkeep. upkeep ghost quarter and ghost quarter of the mine. Yep. Shouldn't have drawn stuff, but yeah. Yeah, that was a minor misplay. They hadn't played a forest. They didn't have a forest again. Well, at least they, we knew they had at least one left in deck. Oh, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> well, we tried, folks. Yeah. And we can't even do the proper planes to kill ourselves before they can kill us. That's what a perfect. savage. Yeah, I feel bad about that misclick. I don't know if it really would have changed anything. Well, yeah, because they drew two mines. Yeah. Well, they had one drew another one. Yeah. yeah that's unfortunate. Dun, dun, dun. That's why we don't play Tron. To me, to be fair, I did tell him about it. Yeah, he told me. And then he just decided to click for mine. Why are you just so much <laughs> better than us? <laughs> you knew what was supposed to happen. Nah, man. Come on, like, give him the mouse and keyboard. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hell no. Dude, why not? He knows how to play Tron better than us. Yeah. I'm going to keep every seven. <laughs> <laughs> like, Tron's not that hard of a deck. No, it's not. It's just like Bird. It's just about like knowing what hands to keep, what hands not to keep, and everything else usually. And you're, and you're just putting yourselves in like the best position for it. I, I just don't know how to play unless you give me a pile of bad cards or a pile of robots. And a pile of bad cards, like, has to have some goofballs of it. Mm. Bad. Mm. Just a giant pile of goofballs. See, easy keep. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We're just not good at drawing lands today. <laughs> Dewey, this is like. This is why I wonder why you play Tron <laughs> even, because this is your opening seven every time. This is my opening seven every time. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, really? Okay, sure, whatever, dude. We can subscribe to Twitch Prime now? Yeah, you can subscribe to me. I am. Yeah. I just, when I try to do it with Twitch Prime, I won't let me. Uh, she, I would subscribe to you, but I don't have Amazon Prime, so. Oh, that's all right. I pay five bucks a month like I do. Support the channel. Dude, I'll just give you five bucks. Dude. <laughs> no, I do not support the channel. I do not care. If you guys want to support, you guys can support. If you guys don't want to support, that's cool. I do this because I want to, so. Sure. But I, I do. We, we uh, as friends, want to su But I sure appreciate well. each and every one of you that's subscribing and following. We got 11 viewers already? Oh, my gosh. We certainly do. Just steal them from that SVG tour. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Playing standard. <laughs> oh, are they? Yeah. That's such a bad format. It's a good format, isn't it? It's actually a pretty Fine. sweet format right now. Yeah, no, I still hate it. Oh, through the card, too. Oh mm. my gosh. The, how does this hand just keep getting better and better? We need a and tower. We need a tower. That's how we can do it. We're against. Uh, escape Shift. Escape Shift again? We're against Escape Shift. Or it could be Ponza. It, no. no. The only deck that plays Center Glade is Escape Shift. I'm going to build a deck that's not Escape Shift and play Center Glade now. Andrew, you I would? don't believe you. I'm, I'm still stuck on Fairy Ninjas. Like, what are we doing with our lives? I'm not playing Fairy Ninjas. Andrew, you need to play in Rug? Cinderglade. You have so many bases. Actually, I thought about doing it. <laughs> you know what? I was like, <coughs> what about this stomping ground? I have to pay two life in order to do that. I just want to fetch out my bases at first, anyways. That's true. Just place all your shocks. What are you doing <laughs> with your life? Because <laughs> I just needed the, the standard turn one flat. Fetch well, dude, remember they play the cards. We gotta bring nature's claims. I don't know if I'm playing cards. I'm not for damn man. Well, they're bringing in damping sphere though. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. Okay. Hans a superior deck to Rug Moon. I disagree. <laughs> uh, <sighs> we did play a lot of Ponzo when the stream was starting. That's fair. Well, we played Rug Moon one well time. With it. Huh? Well, we we didn't do very well with it. We actually did pretty well with it. Oh, Superior to All Decks? Well, that's fair. Superior to All Decks? That's because you are a Ponza fanboy there, Pigeon. Mm. Mm. Now, the real question so is... Sorry for your mistakes. Is <laughs> Modern <laughs> Horizons going to give you anything for your Ponza schemes? I don't know. Nah. These blue-white decks get uh, picked in the... Or, uh, the Fluster Gation. Storm. Yeah, Fluster Storm. Oh, I'm in on that. I was telling Dewey, I was like, immediately one did, uh, is replacing my Dispel. Yeah. Like, huff, a more reasonable one man. Oh, oh my goodness. Dewey. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Gosh. Dewey. <laughs> yes. Stop <laughs> punishing this man. We're one and two in this league right now. We deserve some wins. <laughs> You've mulled the six against this boy. Both both games. You're still going to turn three Carno. Is he passing turn? 
Okay. <laughs> he tried. He tried real hard. Oh I really hope they take a turn off and abrade our map. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've been there. You think you got him? And they just <laughs> own no, that tribe you. No. It's like, well, I, I mean, yeah, we really need that map to get our. Uh, you know, he is, the, our opponent is really good at drawing Cinderblade when he has no <laughs> basics. Like, I appreciate He hasn't considered getting good yet. Naturally. And of course, we're going to fetch out our Urza's Tower because you want to, you know, make him think that, that, oh, they're just getting it. And then you just slam it. The second one, then Ulamog. No, I don't think we need to. I'm going to get a forest. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to get a forest. I'm going to get a forest. Why wouldn't I get a forest? Do you just don't know how to live life to the fullest? <laughs> <laughs> More mana equals just better, right? More plays. I know? get the stirrings for what we're looking for. We already have what we're looking yeah, for. We already have cards. <laughs> but what else do we need? It's, I'm so confused. This poor man is never going to get more than three mana. Because <laughs> <laughs> right now there's like another card on no. the top. Another card right now. Go ahead, show it to me. Yeah, that's that's, that's definitely a card. Good. That's definitely a card. That's definitely a card. We cycle says. it off and get card. It's just how so it is. So, did they suspend a search when they could have just cast it? Yeah. Yes, they did. Why? We never. I don't know, but we're going to take their, their Cinder Glade, and then we're going to take their Valica, and then they're going to be really sad. I feel like Karn's going to get bolted. What? Do we? Don't say that. I like the fun. It's just a feeling. Okay, apparently I'm my feeling's wrong. Feel. Yeah, this Scape Shift deck, never going to have more than three mana. <laughs> When I watched Dewey, the one time I told you, but one time I walked over to watch Dewey at the uh, open, <laughs> like the guy just nat nat Karn both or Natron both games, Karn, just like, what well, this sucks. What happens? Like Dewey, Dewey gets one game, next thing you know, just Karn, Karn, and then Dewey still play it out, and then Karn minuses twice, and then plays another Karn, and Dewey's like, yeah, okay, now we're done. You got this. There's like some like there's a, there's like very specific hands that you can still play through a turn three but, uh, Karn. We need to talk about the best card in Dewey's Ponza list. Woodfall Primus. That wasn't a Ponza. Or excuse me, Scape Shift. My apologies. Was Scape Shift. Yeah. It was Breach Shift. Breach Shift. My apologies. They all the same thing. They all play that stupid. Yeah, they're and different. Smugly. They're different, man. They have different names for a reason. <laughs> it's just different payoffs. Let's the score of chat here. They're let's all just, the same. Let's just interchange these eight cards and call it a different deck. Chat, <laughs> chat. We need to have some reason here. Breach Shift, in my opinion, is the Valica uh, Titan Shiftless when it uses uh, into the breach. And otherwise, you into should the breach. Is it a new card? What? What is the name of the card? Through the breach. Through the breach. <laughs> and otherwise, you should call it Titan Shift. Or red green Valica. Or now, chat yeah, also bear. You know, you should let us know. Should he just play Rug Moon in the next one? Like Rug Moon, too good, too strong. I want to play Rug Moon next. We play Rug Moon next. You can play whatever you guys want. <laughs> yeah, we'll play Rug Moon after this. Oh my gosh, I'm in. This hand is terrible. Actually, it was a we would have kept that. <laughs> they had two towers. How could we lose? Oh my gosh, do we? Stop bowling it. Oh my. Goodness. Well, we're going to get to rug wood a lot faster than we thought, boys. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to play Forest. And just hand yes. is actually kind of the best. Oh, not my. the best Forest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so this this league, we have played against Tron, Tron, Scape Shift, Scape Shift, Free Wind Red. Just okay. putting that out. Tron's a really popular deck right now. That's why I was on the, uh, the World Breaker. But, uh... Chat, we just, you know, the problem is that you just need to see more goofballs in your life. And when you see Rug Moon, you're going to get all your goofballs. We're not the new Karn need to be banned in modern. No. 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 If they're going to be banned in modern. If Genie Tron becomes too oppressive because of the Mythos and Flattus thing, they're just going to ban Mythos and Flattus. Because it doesn't make for interactive it's, games. It's an it's a enjoyable thing to cast. It is not that good. Yeah. It's it's not really that much of a problem. We were talking about it over dinner, how you can just blow up like They're better at this than we are. They certainly are, but luckily they didn't get a payoff. We got payoffs, big deal. I still think they're doing better than we are. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta believe, baby. Yeah, it's a ten mana combo that's fragile to like you can just bolt the combo. You know what? Oh, 
He could have plow hundred us with that mana. You know what's better than uh, a better ten mana card than new card Mythos and Gladys? It's uh, called Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger. Mm, I hear good things about it. I hear very good things about it. I, I hear, hear that card actually kills people. <laughs> I've heard things like that too. It's Unlike like most of the cards you trod, that one actually kills people. It doesn't do anything. Sure. It doesn't do anything. Sure. <laughs> so It's literally 10 mana exile 2 permanent so get counter. Or it kill ten, you in two turns. Or 10 mana get exile 2 things get path. So interesting. Oh, well actually still interesting thing we could do here. Is, that card's not really good um, right here. So we're just like gonna carn. No, we're just gonna carn and remove the Ugin from play. Yeah, that that's seems... what we're gonna do. I like your line. Thank you. I, you know, I appreciate that. I think we need to play the star first and crack it just to dig a little deeper because mm. we still are gonna have the seven mana. Mm. Ha, huh, you guys. Are... <laughs> we're too good at this, do we? No, so like. So yeah, we can Karn and down take an exile. The but then they right? kill our they then kill they our Karn. Guaranteed, our Karn's dead. Mm -hmm. uh, alternatively, here we can go. Uh, great what creator. What can we grab with great creator that was a play? I was thinking liquid metal cloning. No, we just get spyglass. Oh sure. We get spyglass shut down their Ugin, and then we Karn. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one a lot. Or because we they get spyglass shut down their worm coil. And then next turn, play big card and get early. What are you uh, talking about? Doesn't no, because if we the Ugin shoots our card, if we no matter what, so yeah, we're oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think great creator into spyglass seems really reasonable. Or if they get did, if they did not no. play uh, the Ugin, <coughs> they would have out of the game, and that would have been really sweet. Yeah. Either way, I feel like we're better off shutting down one of these two with the. Uh, no. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. And the other upside is Karn gets to stick around for one extra turn because they're. Um... Oh. We don't have a spyglass. Why did we not know we didn't have a spyglass? I cut the spyglass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awkward. We take Ghost um, We take Ghost on. We take Ghost on. There's just no. There's no question. I mean, yeah. Because we can just blow up the board next turn, I guess. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Transfer doesn't really do much. I cut Spyglass to increase, like, it was a, so I've been testing out a bunch of different versions, and I cut the Spyglass um, on a line, not in paper, because I was testing out um, having an increase on Thought Knots. Oh, it seems really good right there. So, this is pretty unfortunate because they're going to be able to just shoot the uh, card. And I was yeah, thinking the about the that version I had. Dead, so Spyglass we, should still be in the But deck. we do have an O-Stone play, though. Can we pop O-Stone in card? So they, no, is, so, we won't minute short. Of so ball. based on this line, it's clear they don't have another payoff in hand, which is really fortunate. So we are going to be able to... But we can't pop O-Stone in play card. We'll be one minute short. Uh, okay. That's fine. We're still just 10, gonna 11 mana. Yeah, we'll be one short. We just pop the O stone. So they'll still have Tron for another turn after yeah. the O stone. Yeah. But what we do, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's we're what just, we're doing. We're just popping O stone. We Unless. We wait till they're up. Unless we're true gods and draw to one. Oh, yeah. I like that one. <laughs> you like that one? I like that one a lot. What is uh, Ulamog's ultimate at? 11? 10. No, oh, Ugin? Ugin's at 10. Ooh. No, it doesn't. Does that? We're just blowing it up. Yeah, we're just blowing it up. Wait, couldn't we just get Michaels and Flattis? Yeah, but then they just yeah, swing. Oh, oh, kill oh, you can still attack them. Yeah, they just yeah. swing, kill Karn, and then ult with Ugo. Yeah, yeah. So, on the next turn, if they don't have anything, we, uh... Do we have, um... Now, here's the question. Do we have a... Liquid metal coating on the sideboard? We do. Because we can liquid metal coating. What does that card say? It turns a card into an artifact. Yeah, we'll do It's that. relevant because with Karn the Great Creator, uh, activated abilities artifacts can't be used. So you do it on land. It's basically right, like mini liquid metal coating. So you stop on their. Uh, their Mi mini and micro synthesis? Yeah. I mean, they still have a crap ton of mana, though. It's fine. You're not wrong. We're, just, we're doing what we can, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. There wasn't something better we could have grabbed? Nah, well, this puts, them, this puts them to nine mana, so they cannot Ulamog. See, this is really good. So we can... 
We got 11 mana, oh, we 12 just mana. Oh, we just coil too. Uh, We're just going to liquid metal coating, take out the mine to get rid of it, right? Yeah. And then... Play Karn. Then Karn, exile worm coil. Yeah. That seems really reasonable. Big fan of this play. Wait, is, don't, they still have Tron though, right? No. Oh, wait. We just got rid of it. Oh, we'll just play. Wait, what? Are we here? So we used the liquid metal coating to turn their mine into an artifact. Yeah. And then the new Karn's plus ability turns a target uh, artifact into a non-creature artifact oh, into so a it's creature. Oh, zero, zero, and then yeah. just dies. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So if you're so that's why I said robots are almost unplayable, or they're not unplayable, but they're in a really bad spot against. Mm -hmm. uh, most this is Ponzo decks. with extra steps. You're not, you're not wrong. Yeah. No, it's better than Ponzo because this one actually blows up lands. This Ponza, one here's doesn't blow up lands anymore. Here's the thing, chat. This version of Ponza actually kills you. That is true. Wait, what matters here though, Pigeon? Are you still running the version of Ponza that blows up lands, or did you convert to the other version of Ponza that's just basically red green mid range and they pretend to be Ponza? You know what Ponza can't be? Anything with four toughness. Uh, <laughs> the, so you're saying what well, you're saying? Blake, they can't you're... be the goy. The, <laughs> the standard Chandra goof. doesn't kill goof. You can down take and kill Roy. No, it doesn't. It's a four five. It's always a four five. No, it's not. Blake, it's tell pretty him pretty much. The amount of times you're playing against pawns with this, so they're putting the sorcery in the yard for you. <laughs> and an instant. You have the instant. And sure, you, you have a creature somewhere down the line that just does. Like, you can't draw opening hands for your, to save your life. Uh, I would. No. This is, you can't, you just you're on the draw it's keep. So bad. You're on the draw keep. We have this, this guy. This hand's pretty bad. Oh, uh, so bad. I'll keep. I keep it. Risk for the biscuit. Dude, I'm the guy who keeps no land hands and wins mox emeralds. See, there's your mistake, Vision. Just play modern. It's so much better than any other format. I mean, that's not true. I don't know. Draft is pretty sweet. I'm not playing modern. I used to play Goof in modern. Didn't I send you to the bottom? Scarbuck. No, you know, Blake, you know what we really need to play? What? Soul Tide? Eternal Command? See, that's like, we'd have to actually figure out a list for that, though. <laughs> Are you saying you have, rug, you have rug in your head? We don't need a, Blake. What's that? What's that sound code from your heart? It's red. Ooh, double mine. Don't get excited. We have nothing going on. <sighs> we have everything going uh, on. Yes. <laughs> oh look, we have double mine as well. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, this hand is gas. This hand's garbage. We're gonna play a one-one blister and ride it to victory. Don't you worry. Mm, this hand is pretty good. Scrub doesn't even have matching arts. Idiot. Oh. He doesn't even have a third land. <laughs> oh, we do another mine. We got the We're triple there, boys. <laughs> We're getting there with oh, a yeah. triple mine. This ballista is going the distance. <laughs> no, is it going for speed? <laughs> it is definitely going for speed. Is it all low? In Dewey's time of need? <laughs> oh, no, they have, they have tried. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh. We're going to just draw the fourth mine here. That's what's going to happen. Why <laughs> would you put that evil on us? No, we're just going to draw Ghost Quarter. We're fine. This walking bliss is going to kill them. Okay. We can still draw Ghost Quarter. Yeah, it's just a redraw. God. Mine. Or scry someone's scrying a little bit. No, the only land it's going to find is mine. Oh, just... It doesn't even find a land. Oh, my God. God. You know what? Everyone, Dude, you're <laughs> trash. Everyone who says Ancient Story is too good, I want you to see that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ancient Story is literally demonic tutor. Except, yeah, except, except for Dewey. <laughs> except for when it's not. You know, you really need to talk to Harley about playing this deck, because he knew how to keep no Tron land hits and just stumble into that Tron. Oh my gosh. Who? <laughs> Remember the guy that beat me in top eight and then beat Dewey in semis? Oh, and yeah. in both games, he kept no Tron land hits against both of us. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's... Uh, Good thing is, is so we have three mines. So do we, is it, when is it acceptable to just pack it up? So, like, he can't actually uptick again. I mean, downtick again. He has to uptick. Yeah, unless he has another card in but, I think he should just uptick from the start, but... But we're not getting lands. Yeah, uh, yeah. Back it in. Back it in. Just go to a game three. That's why we play 20 lands. We just need... Where's Noah's list? Let's just get Noah's list. I don't like Noah's list. He's playing He's playing Nugan, which I don't like. He's also he's playing, playing 20... playing what? Nugan. Ugin. Ugin the Ineffable. Yeah. Well, I don't know what that card it's is. Its static ability is colorless cards cost two less. Plus one is you get a look at the top card of your library, 
put it into play. It is a two or exile, excuse me, and you make a two two spirit. When that spirit dies, the card that was exiled for it goes into your hand. Why would he play that crap card? Uh, nope, and then it's minus. It's minus three to destroy uh, uh, permanent color. color. Yeah, permanent color. Keep. It's garbage. I agree. Done. Now it's now. Now it's, it's, it's still actually garbage. What do you mean? We have no payoff. We're forming trauma. We're not doing anything with that. Don't worry. But I've listened to Dewey's. Don't worry. I've, I've worry. We're going to draw a Karn into an Ulamog. Well, I've listened don't to Dewey's worry. lessons. Now, Dewey has taught me. I'm that blowing up that map. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> We're not going to find trauma. I don't care. Okay, that's fine. What What do you mean you don't oh my care? Gosh. Dewey, oh. no. I'm no. blowing it up. No. Why? Because I'm a savage. <laughs> <laughs> But now we're just dead. No, no it's, we're it's not. Fine. It's fine. We're gonna draw another. No, he's just about to soul is crying right now. Her, no, and he's, then gonna, he's, he's gonna find the tower. Find tower. Tower. Found current yeah, number. Right. So you didn't find towers. So. <laughs> well, we found a tower. See, we really need like a colored. No, source. the reason like, we I last turn. No, the reason <laughs> I did that is because we didn't have. Well, a, that's unfortunate. He had it anyway. I right. know. So, see, I no, told you. No, so the reason it was no, correct. You just find a ghost corner. Well, that's unfortunate. The reason <laughs> it was correct to do it is because we weren't doing anything. We formed Tron. No, that's correct. It's correct. But we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That was, let's not. We're done with that video. <laughs>